Dix News, coverage you can count on. It's Penn State's unofficial spring reunion, Blue and White Weekend, and there's a lot of excitement to see the new coach and the new team, but there are also some changes you need to know about. Aaron Calandra has more on that from State College. Things are really gearing up here at Penn State for the big blue and white weekend. This is going to be the first time that fans can see Coach Franklin's Lions take the field, and Penn State officials tell me they think it's going to be a packed house. These are all sure signs that football is coming to Happy Valley. This Penn State alum still bleeds blue and white just like he did when he graduated back in the 60s, and he'll be passing the experience along to his grandchildren this weekend. We bring him on the campus and we show him the school and uh, we go to the creamery. The highlight of blue and white weekend, well, the football game, of course. Yeah, we're anxious to see how, uh, what the team looks like. This will be the first time many fans will get a glimpse of the new team and new coach. A street fair kicks off the festivities at 9 a.m. Saturday. Curtain Road will be shut down with food, vendors, and activities for kids. And at 10:10, the team arrives. The fans can see the team uh, come in. Coach Franklin get off the blue bus for the first time. But sorry, kids, there won't be a carnival. Penn State officials canceling the annual Blue and White Carnival, saying pipeline construction, finances, and out-of-town sports led to their decision. We'll certainly discuss it moving forward for 2015, absolutely. But the forecast is perfect. Sunny, 60-degree weather is great for tailgating, and we're told Coach Franklin is hoping for 80,000 fans, a record-breaking number, and something that might shine a little light on the future of Penn State football. And again, the carnival is canceled for this year. They say it may be back in the future, but this is still a great opportunity to take the little ones to a Penn State football game. At University Park, Erin Calandra, 6 News.